Israel is ramping up its military force in Gaza, moving troops deeper into the city of Rafah. Thousands of people are on the run just days after Israel's fiery airstrike devastated a camp for Palestinian refugees. Three independent weapons experts tell CBS News that the bombs used in that attack were made by the U.S. The tensions are putting even more pressure on the Biden administration to reconsider its military support for Israel. This exchange came earlier this week. How many more charred corpses does he have to see before the president considers a change in policy? We don't want to see a single more innocent life taken. And I kind of take a little offense at the question. No civilian casualties is the right number of civilian casualties. The White House emphasized that President Biden would reevaluate support if Israel carried out a large ground operation in Rafah. Well, last night, Israel's national security advisor said the war in Gaza could last until the end of the year.